Okay, so they're manipulating this area right up here. I've seen uh, two flights go right across here spraying in front of this straight line cloud here. So apparently they're manipulating this somehow by spraying particulates in the air and the jets that fly by here have probably uh, contrails or sprays about maybe ten times the length of the jet. And they're doing something with this. You can see how this is shaping here. Then we have a flat ridge here. <clears throat> and then we can see the scalar or uh, electromagnetic manipulation in the clouds here. The I call them zebra clouds, herringbone clouds. This uh, dust, uh, electromagnetic dust or plasma formation that they have engineered is being manipulated by electromagnetic or microwave energy. And so yeah, that's they're doing something here uh, right in front of us. You can see the odd shape of this dust cloud or plasma cloud and it will form into something, some weather event um, that we'll experience. Uh, once again, we've had overcast skies for three to four days in a row. Uh, intense rain approximately four days ago. And the sun has just come out. Okay, here's another one. Now they're... They're... <clears throat> they're going sort of this side and then around they're going this side and then around this formation we have another one spraying here and once again this is this is all uh, done without public consent um, without environmental impact reports without um, basically without any public oversight. That's rare to see that. That is a, that is a, that is a passenger jet. Okay, so you know an unnatural cloud, whatever, if there are such a thing as a natural cloud anymore, by the lininess to them, by the geometrical sort of patterns. You can see here, we have a straight line there, we have straight lines there, straight lines there. This is some sort of front they're designing. This line, you can see how it's separating. It's not a natural uh, 
the cloud formation and all. It, it's a, it's a basically, it's a plasma, it's a plasma arrangement. And then you can see here, this is the remnants of some more sprays. Um, well, like I said, we've had cloudy skies for the last three or four days. We had rain uh, very intense the last uh, about four days ago. And so we had pretty much clear clear skies until this uh, this crap here, this dust plasma Franken cloud they've designed, designer weather pattern has uh, taken over and sort of block the sun out right over here it's typically typical that they will spray in the morning toward the whatever this area so that it blocks out the morning sun um, after the sun has come out slightly and then they they spray against the backdrop of the sun is what I mean typically and so yeah, once again, you know unnatural clouds by uh, the lininess to them, these straight lines. And then, now, this, this cloud over here, you can see how it has a certain amount of billowiness to it. This is a more natural style cloud. Um, and then these clouds sort of off over the coast is a more natural cloud. Um, compared to these manufactured clouds here and these over here and you may notice that you're often you're often uh, thirsty and what these particulates do they will absorb moisture so they have the same effect in uh, your body as they do in the atmosphere they will absorb moisture and the electromagnetic <clears throat> frequencies broadcast by the cell towers, the Gwen towers, uh, possibly the whole uh, Wi-Fi network manipulates these sprayed materials to produce any weather event they want. You can see there's actually lines, the scalar or electromagnetic flux line, similar to the flux in a magnet. Um, they are able to produce uh, electromagnetic uh, effects to push, pull, and or manipulate any type of weather event they want. And unfortunately, there's no public consent. There's no public oversight there's no EPA public EPA report and yeah it's and your elected officials if they are watching they probably won't like this video um, I've noticed a lot of people will comment on my videos they will give me the whatever comment but they they're they're not specific and so I know that these people are uh, part of a, a a group of elected officials that have signed the uh, agreement not to talk about this uh, so yeah and that's what's happening it's all engineered weather Done without public oversight, no EPA re, uh, permit required, and most elected officials and law enforcement agencies um, are so com compartmentalized that they cannot do anything about this. Although it's a violation of child endangerment laws, uh, violation of many laws um, and at this point uh, it seems as though there is a sort of war going on with the uh, 
the people, the common people of this planet, and for those those scientific engineers that want to control the environment by some scientific method um, and with sort of disregard for the environmental impact of the fallout from these materials such as barium, strontium, aluminum, coal ash and uh, so yeah that's your geoengineering report for today.